thank you for clicking this video welcome to my space if this is your first time on here my name is stephanie i'm a 95 career girl finance based in london i'm a content creator as well I do instagram youtube and tiktok is just like repurposed content welcome to my space if this is not your first time thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate you everyone just click the thumb up button right now because it helps the video go to amazing places new people and just to increase our community so guys on today's um, video what i would like to share nothing that deep but also really deep things to keep to yourself like seriously the power of silence if this is something you think you would enjoy sit back relax grab a drink or two and let's have a good time listening to my points my name is stephanie guys and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform video idea actually came to mind when I was just thinking of the fact that when I tell people my problems it doesn't even make me feel better do you guess why would I be doing something that is not making me feel better and it's not even improving any other situation in anybody's life even my family like sometimes I'm really ill and I not want to tell my, my mom she will call me that period and be like oh, how are you I'm like fine because to me like telling her would actually double the burden for me i don't know if you guys understand even like i say let's say the period i was doing like all the visa application blah 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 i was not telling people that were not concerned like people that were not in the same shoes with me like you i wasn't because telling you i'm going through this it does not help me after all my thinking and stuff i came about with six i was able to make them six just so that it's something that you can watch quickly add to your life add to the comment section so we'll learn from you i just really be a better person so the first thing guys is long ago since let's say you had like useless behavior <laughs> useless behavioral patterns just something stupid you've done in the past sharing it with people is not necessary step on it if you think uh, maybe when you get vulnerable stupid things like that with people make it closer to them no it wouldn't those actions and those sins obviously we're calling them sins because it's something you regret doing don't have any place in your life again so just forget them move on okay, let me try and give an example like a nasty action like theft you've done it you feel bad anonymously pay it back if it's money you stole whatever you took from someone just try and absolve yourself of the sin and it, this is not something you should be sharing especially as you're trying to forge ahead as a better person in life adding value to yourself the next thing i'll say is your weaknesses so it's bad enough that you already called it your weakness obviously because you're trying to be realistic this is something you're not good at this is something you probably want to be good at this is just something you don't do that well telling someone or saying it out it's kind of putting a stamp on it like okay yeah this is my weakness so take me like that or chicken things like that is more action less talk don't cage yourself in you know the belief that you know i'm bad at this i'm bad at this instead let your action show and then with your action showing you know that you're now you know working towards being good at that thing affirmation from people will help you pro progress you get these things i'm sharing is like don't do things that would not add value or not add you know positivity to your life like you're bad at something try to be good at it so that even the few times you know you know you're good at it people commend you or even you notice yourself so yeah your weaknesses nah don't share it's bad enough you've accepted it's a weakness the next thing we're talking about is your goals so this is kind of like the opposite of your weaknesses you want to do this you want to do that you think um sharing it up and down the whole place would you know to be honest, when you share some kind of things, it's as if you already don't have of it. It's just like you want to work out, you want to start working out, you're not going to pay one heavy amount for a gym membership. In your mind, you'd be like, ah, oh, I've already been steady with paying pay this money. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, your goals should be just things you're working towards. You know, write them down, don't share them. And remember, you don't even know the kind of people around you. You know, sharing your necessary goals up and down. When you're working towards something, you can say, okay, ah, I'm trying to do this. Maybe like it, this particular step is something you need to do to get to that goal. You can share those because obviously in life, naturally, we need people to get to some places. But that's end goal that should be kept to yourself. The next thing I'm talking about, it's kind of like your weaknesses, the second point, but this is your problems. So you might feel, ah, when I speak about something, go and meet your therapist, go and meet your therapist. You get those are professional, probably someone you don't even know. These days they are 
online ways better help i will have discount code <laughs> you know i'll put it in the description box by the way talk to someone else don't share your problems with people who do not matter like seriously you might be thinking you guys are the best friends now and you're the best of friends now just uh, you know you're not the family does not share one problem you should not be like ah we're in the same shoe let me share my own problem mm -mm. do not share your problems human beings are fickle anybody can use anything against you anytime even if you need an external factor to bring a solution then just share the parts you need the person to do the problem share the problem solved maybe maybe your spouse okay maybe spouse you could do that but just keep your problems to yourself to do best you can and share only what's relevant number five points secrets that are not yours as i said these are problems you're keeping it to yourself your secrets <laughs> The reason they are your secrets, you're the one that knows right now, right? So why are you telling somebody? Okay, let's say it's your own secrets, like you're the only one involved in that secret. Why are you telling them? Why are you telling them? Why are you sharing it? If it's not human, if it's, not, if it's something dark, stupid, just keep it to yourself. If it's someone else's secret, <clears throat> never. Never. That's mean, that's evil, that doesn't even look good or speak good for you. Imagine you telling someone else, someone else's secret. That person would never tell you anything. Would they even trust you with things? Forget telling. Trust you with things. No. Someone tells you something in confidence. They told you in confidence because they probably have regards for you. Or maybe you found out something in confidence. Just keep it to yourself. You would just be the flag bearer of disloyalty. Sharing people's secrets up and down the whole place. Just because you have proven knowledge. The last thing, and this is something I learned from work. In fact, guys, I've been growing a lot, like just being in this 995. Because before, as a working girl, I've been contracting. Being in a full time job, guys, the politics is different. Like things you learn are different. So, this last one is one of the things I learned from, you know, working in 95, which is petty annoyance, or say petty grievances, you know, just little stupid problems that bug you. You don't have to tell everybody. Even sometimes, like something just annoys me. I'm just like, as soon as you tell my husband, because it just gives you a bit more energy when you start talking about some stupid things. Everyone has them. Everybody came from different cultures. So you can imagine, even in your family circle, you guys are different. Imagine now going to work, stupid behavior, nonsense, pet. Just don't talk about. Don't give it life. I'm such a believer in creating your reality. There's some kind of things that happen. You just, or maybe you send an email. <laughs> Because, okay, the kind of job I do, sometimes we request data of companies and stuff. So you can send an email to the relationship manager and the first two lines will be like kind of anger, annoyance, you know, sometimes insult. The bottom will be your information you need. Just act on yourself if you do not see those two lines. Take the information you need, continue your life. Just because, obviously, we're humans, sometimes you just need someone to listen to you. Just be watchful of who you're talking to. Just keep, in fact, keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Have you ever, maybe, you're complaining about something that's on, the person is not even responding. It's because the person has sense. They don't want to go into, before you know you enter gossip, before you know you enter rubbish. So there's some kind of these sort of things, just push them off your head. Even sometimes, like in public, when it comes to your views, or things like politics, religion, all these kind of sensitive things, you don't need to talk. Just keep quiet. What I kind of try to live by, because a lot of people, you know, don't know um, when to shut up, is, if you're not going to say something positive, just keep quiet. There's just more wisdom in saying something good or just keeping quiet. Silence has a power. And when you say silence, it's not you not standing up for your rights. It's just you keeping things that shouldn't come out of your mouth to yourself as much and as best as you can. Obviously, we have spouses, as I said, we have best friends. I said, like, maybe special friends. You don't watch what you're saying. Just try and keep it as positive as possible because it even helps your mind. And yeah, just a healthy, a healthy mind is a happy life. So guys, yeah, I just said I should share these things too because yeah, I'm growing, you're growing, we're all growing. Drop in the comment section if there are other things you think we should keep quiet about. Obviously, you know, when it comes to your relationship, shut up. I don't say shut up as in be dying inside, no. Even when it comes to like relationship, you know, Keep as much as you can to yourself. Just solve it within yourself. Think about it. Sometimes read the Bible, listen to music. There's some things that will just make you feel better. Just know yourself and learn how to feel better alone. Just so that you don't start spewing things up. Now, there was even this video I watched Banter by NJ um, on YouTube. And then she was talking about these two best friends that were in uni and they were best friends. Only for them to now finish uni or finish life. 
have husbands. I don't know what now made them fall apart. Now one husband is trying to leave because of all the dirty stuff. So guys, just keep your nonsense to yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, please drop in the comment section because I really, really love to read from you. Share this video with your friends, your family, and your enemies. Follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy. And click the like button if you haven't. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.